Brooklyn from the future coming at you. So, um, about my sprained foot. So, I'm just gonna explain what happened. So, I was walking to the bathroom because I was gonna go shower. And, like, I remember I put my foot down. Actually, I don't even know if it hit the ground. And I swear I heard a snap. And I was like, oh, shit. And then I, um... One leg went under, like, out from underneath me and so did the other. Like, it happened in three steps. It was, like, crack, snap, well, like, I guess, snap, fall, fall. And then I was like, this is not good. So I wanted to get up right away, but I tried, and it hurt too bad, but I did. Like, I made sure I got up, because the last time it, like, took forever to get up. And I was in a lot of pain, but I was like, you know what, it didn't look swollen at first, I was like, it just hurts because I felt like it's going to be okay. So I tried to shower, and as I was in the shower, I was like, mm, it's getting a lot worse, the water like hit it, and it was like extreme pain, but I was like, you know what, I'll live. So then I came back, and I went and uh, laid down in my bed for the afternoon, I was like, you know what. It's just gonna hurt now and it's just gonna be better. My mom came home, my aunt was already here like looking at it and it was just like boom. Really, really, really swollen. Like I'm talking about like last time, like I really badly injured my foot swollen. And it was at the top of my foot, so it wasn't my ankle and I was just like they told me I had to go to the hospital and I was like, Oh, I don't really don't wanna go because I hate hospitals, I've already been over this. And I've already been there enough times this month and like I literally haven't been to the hospital since like the ninth grade like I just don't go um so we went and I was like I'm waiting 40 minutes and I'm leaving because it doesn't matter at this point I couldn't really walk on it my mom got me a wheelchair to wheel me in because it was so 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 bad so we go in and then I get my number and it's time for triage so we go to triage and the nurse, w and then I was wearing slippers, so I had to take a slipper off, which really hurt. And the nurse looked at it, and she was asking me all these questions. And then, because the sign said it was a two-hour wait, she was like, do you want some Advil? Because you're going to have to wait at least, like, an hour. And I was like, no. I'm going to explain why, because um, I'm not supposed to take, like, ibuprofen and stuff like that, just because I don't know what's wrong with my stomach and it could make it worse or hurt again and that was the worst pain of my life and I was trying to explain that because she's like well it's your pain right and I was like 10 out of 10 because it hurt a lot and I couldn't move so clearly it was a lot and she's like it's the worst pain you ever felt and I was like no because the worst pain I ever felt was like when I thought my appendix was rupturing and that was 12 out of 10 and like not to be dramatic but I actually thought I was gonna die and she's like well then it's not 10 out of 10 and I was like 9 out of 10 then? This isn't my first rodeo, this is like the third time like I kind of almost broke something or like I badly sprained like a stress fracture. Then I had the other injury on my foot that was definitely broken but they said it wasn't and then there was this. And honestly I couldn't tell if it was broken or not because it hurt and the way it swelled up like the last time I was like oh this is not good. So she was fine with me not taking it. She's like if you need it just come and get it. But I, I didn't. Then I registered, sat for maybe 10 minutes, and I called my name and I got to go in. So I went in. And then I didn't, I really, I really liked to keep in the hospital more. They were just more nice and more friendly. And like I literally couldn't walk. Like it hurt so bad. And the nurse is like, oh, you're really milking this. Because I had both my mom and aunt help me get up onto the bed. And I was like, do you think I want to be in this position right now? So we finally waited, the doctor came, looked it over, I went to x-ray, x-ray hurt so bad because you have to hold in all these different positions and I couldn't because like I was in a lot of pain and I was just over it. So they didn't think it was broken but the x-ray technician wasn't in so I'd find out. The next morning, spoiler alert, wasn't broken apparently, so I had to go get it wrapped. And that hurt so bad, I was like, almost screaming, <laughs> like it was so much pain and the girl felt really bad. And then we got to leave and I had a prescription for crutches because I'm not supposed to walk on it for a week and then after a week it's supposed to be like featherweight, um, oops, did not follow that, 
but I just heard a lot and then like it was snowing and then there's stairs to my house so trying to get up the stairs was literally brutal just trying to do anything was brutal but yeah I have no upper body strength and you have to use your upper body a lot so that wasn't good but yeah so sorry for another shitty vlog but once again I wound up in the hospital and I don't know how this keeps happening but not on wood that's it because I am over hospitals I'm over being injured um but yeah that was my second trip to the ER this month third trip to the hospital so <laughs> what are you gonna do what a turn for the worst